Welcome back to Limitless everyone. Thank you guys for joining me and today we're going to find out why or if you should be ducting your radiator because I'm going to be doing it on this crazy Hayabusa powered willies. Stay tuned. <laughs> Well guys, like I said, we're going to get right into the build here so you can see how I've done the ducting on this. Um, and we're also going to be announcing the winner for the free t-shirt. So I spent a bunch of time last night making these two, two pieces, uh, getting my main flange tacked on. I think I finally have my welder set to a spot that's actually going to work. Uh, so these will go in here. And I couldn't make these pieces until these are tacked in. I mean, I could have taped them up, but it was getting pretty late last night anyways. So I'll get them tacked in and then, uh, then we can continue on make these two other ones. All right, it is time everyone. I am going to copy and paste these names into uh, an online random generator and we'll see who wins the draw for the free t-shirt so there we got a whopping 10 people in the draw so good luck to you guys and first name pulled is boosted lifestyle <laughs> well thank you very much for your suggestion um, Definitely, it's actually one that I'm going to be considering. So, Boosted Lifestyle, if you actually want to get this t-shirt, I'm still in the middle of redesigning them. Uh, hit me up down in the comments below or I'll hit you up on Messenger again. And if you do not want it, we'll click again here just to see who will be the second recipi recipient. And the next one is Aaron Fleming. So you would be runner up if Boosted Lifestyle does not want it. Hopefully he does, because maybe he'll wear it on his channel. Might help us grow a little more. So thank you guys very much. All right, decided to weld everything onto this flange. And then this one will be just probably sealed. I don't think I'll fully weld it out. Uh, mounted the fan on there. Cleaned everything up. Uh, so the next step is to throw this into the car. And I'm just gonna throw my charger onto it just to see it spin and see how much suction I've got on the front coming through. And we'll go from there. All right, so I got her back into place here. Uh, let's just test out the fan with the just battery charger to see, see how much pull it has. Seems pretty good. Let's try the uh, standard paper test. Seriously, thank you guys. All right, so why do you want to duct your radiator? So one of the biggest things if you build off the front is you are trapping that air in front of the radiator. It doesn't have a chance to escape out the side. So you are forcing air in. Now this doesn't need to be that size. When you go to a smaller size, um, you're catching, yeah, a smaller amount of air, but it's at a high velocity by expanding it to the radiator size, you're slowing it down. 
Now, when you slow down the air, it's actually more efficient in the radiator and it's actually taking away more heat. Then by tapering it back down smaller on the backside, it's speeding up the air and getting it out even quicker. So you're taking away more heat with a smaller area. That's why you want to duct your radiator. Yeah, I mean that's, that's got a lot of suction on it. Definitely gonna work. Unfortunately, that was the easy part. Now, this piece is gonna go over top of the fan, and then I have to adapt this to pretty much, uh, I think it's like a three by 10 inch opening going out the bottom. That part, I'm not looking forward to. Um, I have no idea how to do that yet. I'm sure there's some videos online to show me how. Or it might just be a matter of just giving or just make the square box at the bottom and then, you know, throw some pieces in till I get it where I need to go. But this is going to completely seal it from the engine bay. And then whatever exit size that I have, I need the exact same size for the entrance on the front. So it's gonna be ducted in the front as well. So it's probably gonna be like this amount of volume or this square inch area because there's no point in going any bigger because it still all has to flow through that anyways. So whatever that works out to, I think it's three by 10. I'll have to do the numbers again. Uh, so that'll be the size of the opening up front and that gets high velocity coming in slows down the velocity To actually let it gather the heat Through the radiator and then speeds it up again out through the bottom I'll give you a quick view of what it looks like in behind Okay, there it is in behind uh, You can see I'm clear underneath Um, not a whole lot of room left for the header, but so the, this uh, ring is going to come off the top of here and I'm going to be swooping down so that my opening is right here. That should leave enough room for steering on this side. Well, whole day wasted.